Hey guys, Tat here. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Okay, so what we have going on in this episode is we're just going to do something real lightweight and simple. We're going to go do a mission off of the notice board, which is a mod that adds like a bounty board to the ends where you can just go and do little random side missions. So we're going to just go ahead and go do a, a random mission off the notice board with the Medusa build. Um, just real lightweight, like I said, nothing real serious. I'm getting used to this OBS and playing and recording everything on the computer rather than on the PlayStation 4. So this is just going to do a simple mission. We got a little bit of, uh, we had a dragon assault happen while this was going on. So just did the side mission, did the dragon assault, went over the build a little bit and just checking things out in OBS. So sit back and enjoy and roll the intro Okay, so what we're going to be doing on this episode here while we kick off our Skyrim episodes is I just got um, things like OBS and stuff like that installed, had to figure out how to use it. It took me quite a while to figure all that out, get all the settings right, get the audios recording the way they're supposed to, all that techno crap and, and everything. But I think I got it figured out. I spent all day yesterday doing that so what I want to do here today before we really start doing some Skyrim builds or you know playthroughs of particular quest lines and stuff like that is I downloaded a mod called um, the notice board and what that's supposed to do is it adds in like kind of like bounties and stuff like that. it's like a bounty board that's supposed to be um, in front of the inns at the cities and the towns and so it's supposed to be just like little missions and stuff to like go rescue people or go do something. I don't know. I'm just going off of what I read in the mod description. So I went ahead and downloaded that so that we could have just a couple of like little small type missions to do here. So while I'm getting the hang of, you know, using OBS and and, and all that stuff, I'm going to take it kind of light here and just do these little random missions for a couple episodes. And then I have a a couple of things when we really start getting into the swing of things that I want to do. I want to um, download a couple of different mods, like a follower mod that has a quest line, um, Ambriel, I think her name is, and like a, a player house that has a whole quest line and stuff like that. And, you know, once I get the hang of all this, then we'll start doing all that. But for right now, I just want to keep it kind of light, just do some random little mission type stuff here for an episode or two, get into the swing of recording everything you know and playing on a PC rather than through the PlayStation 4 and stuff like that and um, once I get the hang of all that then we'll get into more some more heavy-duty stuff here what we're going to be using is a Medusa build that I have and um, it's a Medusa character she's supposed to be Medusa that's her name um, I downloaded a couple of mods to help out with that. I will go through my inventory here before we get kicked off and show you everything that I'm using, the different spells from different mod packs and um, all that stuff. So what we got going here is for the equipment, it's, well, it's the Medusa armor. Um, that's what the mod is called. It's called Medusa armor. I retextured it with a different mod that gives it a retexture, so it's got that black look with the, the um, I guess that's a king snake or something look. <clears throat> I already smithed it all up. I've leveled this character up to I think it's about 42 or something. Um, but there's all the stats on the equipment. I don't know the head right there always does that. It it blinds out what you can see. It's got alteration reduction. I think. 38% or something and Magicka regenerates quicker. Um, let's see what else do I got in there. We got some earrings that Magicka regenerates 100% faster. And of course the Bonehawk Green 
for magical regeneration and unarmed strikes and a bone hawk amulet for bows do 40 percent more damage and increases magic resistance um going off of like clash of the titans and stuff like that medusa for what i gathered and stuff like that she mainly used a bow um she did a lot of bow assaulting and attacking and fighting with the bow and of course she slithered around really quick which i'll go into with some of the spells that actually give it that kind of illusion of, of being able to slither around real quick and move around real quick um and then of course her her turn you into stone stare so basically her attacks were using a bow i don't remember any kind of poisons or anything like that and the turn you into a stone stare um i put on the bow here see i'm using an imperial legionary bow and it, of course a chance to paralyze which kind of goes along the whole thing of um turning you into stone freezing you in place type thing and of course to fill a soul gem so that i can keep filling up the black star which i need to do right here because it's already getting a little bit low so we'll just go ahead and charge that back up um i'm not too happy with this bow actually i downloaded this mod that's that adds the um those scope sight things right there and they are very inaccurate um, it may be just the Imperial Legionary Bow with the scope on it, but I haven't tried any of the other ones from the mod. But I will show you here. Oh, I'll have to wait till I'm in like a bucket or something. But it shoots really low. So I may end up going with something different. Um, but for now we're using that. For the spells, the main ones we use is this Enhanced Speed right here and then slow time the enhanced speed is again for like the illusion of your slithering around and moving real quick so you, you kind of move around quick so I remember her moving around between the pillars and getting behind people and just because she's part snake or whatever the bottom half so she's slithered around real quick um, the other one is this slow time spell which of course slows time it's kind of like this um, slow time shout and I have that to go along with this other one here, which is the Medusa Stare. So if the target's level is less than the caster's level, the target is turned permanently to stone. So of course that goes perfect with the Medusa build. So what I have is, because it's a master spell, and it's got that, that really annoying three second animation charge up where you can't move, all you can do is look up and down. You can't look left, right. You can't move around. So what I'm doing, and it's still hit and miss because sometimes it seems like the spell won't hit. But what I'll do is if I want to turn someone, I, I, I freeze time like this. And then I can go into the Medusa stair and I can just get it close to somebody. See, you can't go left or right. You can only go up and down. And then as they come towards me, you can hit them with that and turn them into stone. So that's why I'm using that slow slow time thing if i would have made the mod and made the spell the spell comes from a mod called lost grimoire and if i would have made that i wouldn't have made it a spell i would have actually have made it a power so that it can could have been on your um your shout key because you know if you remember like medusa she'd go around with like her bow out you know she'd be shooting people and stuff and if she came right up to somebody you know she could zap them and turn them into stone so that would have been perfect if it would have been a an instant cast um power where you just hit the button and you know the shout button and you can turn them into stone and then i would have put it on like a cooldown say like a five minute cooldown where you can only use the power like once every five minutes i don't like that once a day nonsense but so you can't just run around a dungeon just instantly freeze everybody to stone and just it totally make it overpowered but give the power like a five minute cooldown that way if you're running around shooting people zap you know hitting them with your bone stuff and somebody gets too close or if you sneak up on somebody get behind them when you're moving fast you could just hit your shout button and use it for a power you know it would have been like any of these other powers you know like night eye or something you know you you could just hit that power button and boom just turn them into stone but anyways i digress that's just what i would have done differently so i'm using that slow time which 
the slow time and the enhanced the fast movement it comes from a magic pack called Fendrix magic um, so you to, to make these this work like this build you need to have those two magic packs the the Fendrix magic and the lost grimoire for those two spells and of course the lost grimoire also has um, this one right here the shape shift clause I don't really use it that often I figured she I never really seen her use like swords and stuff like that but I figured you know she had these claws and stuff so if I wasn't going to use a bow I would be using unarmed attacks but on the higher difficulties here even though I have um let's see here like this unarmed strikes do 19 additional damage and stuff and with the claws it's still it's still real underwhelming so I mean I could download a mod that makes unarmed combat more but I just find I'm just running around basically just using a bow and then freezing people whenever I want to just get into the role play aspect of playing Medusa another thing you can do if you're gonna do a build like this with a Medusa build is you can download a mod called um oh what is it called now the warrior within weapons so it's it's from a Prince of Persia um, weapons pack it's, it's to take the weapons from Prince of Persia the warrior within but basically what you get is if you go down to your um, weapons here all the way at the bottom there are these weapons called well you got um, eagle dagger eagle greatsword but anyways if you come down further you get a serpent dagger a serpent greatsword or a serpent sword and I figured if, if you wanted to get away from the unarmed thing if you're not using your bow and actually use like say maybe daggers for if you're sneaking or swords or something you could download or you could download this warrior within pack and get these swords right here that basically you know the grip and everything is a serpent and that the blade kind of looks like a serpent so it would kind of fit the theme so that's something you might consider doing if you're gonna do this build this um, Medusa build <clears throat> But anyways, let's just go ahead and get into some gameplay here. So it's supposed to be at these inns. Oh, right there. Okay. Check for available quests. So what we have here is Angie looking for pelts. I will offer some lessons in the way of the huntsman as a reward. So maybe she'll boost up your um your archery your marksman book collecting collect dwarven metal ingots collect troll fat um the deliver a missive for subjourn i'm looking for someone to deliver a missive for me uh, okay dwemer technology escaped criminal a dangerous criminal has escaped from the prison we need him for further questioning alive well, that's probably not good for me. I like to go around just killing everybody. Giant bounty. A bounty will be offered to anyone who kills the giant. Let's go try that. So we click that. And nothing popped up. So maybe we got to read something here. Uh, yes. No, that's Fendel's. Okay, giant bounty. Kill the giant located at Golden Rock. By order of Balgroof the Greater... To all able-bodied men and women of White Run, the giant located at Golden Rock has been harassing and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go do that. What I need to do is make sure that's activated. Kill the giant. Yes, it is. Okay. Another thing I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to switch over to the 360 controller. I used to play this game man for years and stuff and I played it on the 360 so I'm really used to playing on a controller and when I started playing it here on the PC I was having a real hard time because I'm so used to the controller and everything I mean you get so many more um, hot slots and and a lot of things when you're using mouse and keyboard but I just because I played it so much on a controller I'm just so used to it that like when I'm playing missions that I, I would always be playing like say the main mission or you know anything like that you enter a building and say you're going around a corner or something 
I'm I already know what enemy's going to be there and what button I'm going to hit. So it's just subconsciously I'm I'm reaching to hit a button and it looks like I got hit by vampirism. Um, I'm used to hitting a button stuff and I'm like, oh, I'm on a keyboard and mouse here and it's it's just really confusing for me. So it's a lot easier to use the mouse and keyboard so or the um, controller. So I'm going to go ahead and do that after I cure myself. It is vampirism, right? Yeah. Go ahead and cure myself. This cure disease spell also comes from the Fendrix magic evolved. It's, it's real nice. You don't have to have the potions. So you just boop and you're healed. Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and equip all my stuff. Switch over to, whoops, wrong button. See, I'm already all goofed up here. Switch over to this, and we need to put that. Everything is um, changed. I had it on the novice difficulty, because yesterday when I was trying to get OBS to work and stuff, I had a, a, a quick slave right when a dragon had landed and was breathing on me so that I could get the audio, and I was trying to get the mic audio, so I could keep reloading that right there. So I had it on novice, so he wouldn't just instantly kill me and stuff. But I've been playing this on master difficulty. I, I've been doing a lot on legendary, but the bow is a little bit too weak for legendary. I, I don't think you should need to take like 10 shots to kill like a normal mook, like just a regular bandit or something. So I dropped it down to master here. And it's still a little bit weak on, on the bow, but... Um, okay, let me grab my controller here. Yes, that's a lot better. <laughs> also, I use blaze on this. I don't know if that's a very... Medusa lore friendly horse to be using but I really like blaze and he does a lot of damage when you deploy him and he blows up <laughs> like on a dragon that's another thing on this on this game save I have deadly dragons installed and I have it up to four dragons which is the max so you can have like five dragons attacking you at once and I have it set to like every 72 hours with a 24 hour random here um so, yeah, I get random dragon assaults quite often. So, <laughs> if we get attacked by a dragon, or multiple dragons, you'll know why. So, let me go ahead and find out where is this Galder thing here. It was from Bolt over here. Bolt Groove, so it'd be in, yeah, right up in here. Um... Let's just start from over here. So like I said, the first couple of episodes here, I just want to do these really kind of simplistic little rinky-dink missions and stuff just to put out a couple episodes to make sure that I've figured out this whole OBS recording on a PC and, you know, I'm using a new um, editor now. I'm using HitFilm rather than I was using Filmora Wondershare before. So I had to teach myself how to use that. So basically from what I was doing before, I've completely redone everything. Um, I still will be putting out stuff on the PS4, of course, but I wanted to get into some Skyrim here. And I wanted, I've never really done any modding before, any played any modding games. So I've been having like a lot of fun here playing Skyrim modded out, so... We might do some things where, well, I know the once we get past these first few little episodes here and we're actually getting into some real stuff, there's that one, um, the follower mod and that player home mod that actually comes with um, a quest to do them. I want to do those. So I have noticed I take a pretty good frame rate hit when I'm using OBS too. <clears throat> whenever I was, whenever I'm not recording on OBS and stuff, my frame rate is, is it's rock solid at 60 even with all the mods that I have installed. But I do notice that I, I take a frame rate hit and I've been trying to watch some tutorials on how to to rectify that and nothing seems to be working too well. I mean, it's not a drastic frame rate drop, but it's still, I do notice that I, I get some drops there, here and there. When I, when I before it would be rock, rock steady. Oh, then I just missed the thing here, blabbing my mouth off. So,
Where's that other wolf at? Dragons? <laughs> what was I just saying? Might have some dragon attacks here. Okay. Well, they're going to all keep each other busy. Man, it took a pretty good frame rate spike drop there. Oh, why aren't you playing with the dragons, dude? Let's see if I can get this guy. Or if he's going to kill me. I'm off a little bit. He's going to hit me. Like I said, this is really hard to get this spell lined up. Got him. Okay, this isn't too bad of a dragon assault. It's really bad when there's like four or five of them. <laughs> then it starts getting really, really hectic. And I've gotten myself up to max um, spell absorption without any kind of cheat and max spell uh, magicka resistance and on nightmare these dragons would just tear me apart I mean they would kill me in about two seconds flat even with all that it was like damn where are all you guys at oh there's another dragon those ones are pretty cool in this Dangerous dragons or deadly dragons pack. They can turn like invisible. Oh, they're playing with those dudes over there. I hear someone near me. Where are you at? I don't want to get chomped by a dragon. <laughs> End up dying on the first episode here. Yeah, I'm taking a pretty hard frame rate hit here. Or FPS hit. Oh, hello there. Fuck off, dude. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Damn, that must have been the nether dragon. He just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> Where is he at? Right there. I kind of see his outline.
Whoa, I must have backed right into him. Oh, I backed into that person. Huh, I wonder if nether dragons can... Be, how they can become invisible if they can become impervious to getting hit by arrows, because I had to have hit him there. Where is he at? I hear him. There you- oh shit. <laughs> Fucker just popped right in on me like that. I guess we could also go up there and um clear out these towers. Just to do something, because I don't want to keep this a fairly short episode. It just doing these little things here, here, and there. Once I really get the hang of this stuff, I want to get into some more like actually doing some quest lines with um, certain builds. I got a couple different builds I want to put up also. And do like, say like the Thieves Guild or something with, you know, a certain build or, or whatever. But for now, I want to just, you know, do a couple real short episodes, make sure I got all the settings correct. <laughs> I just, I love that spell. When I saw the spells, like, oh, I got to do a Medusa build. Oh, shit. I got to do a Medusa build. So I looked for some of the, um, like armor and stuff. And I did find, I found, um, a skin that is a Medusa skin where the bottom half, it's kind of like serpentine. But the problem that I, I didn't like with it was the very tip of the tail was shaped like a fish tail. It wasn't shaped like a snake tail. It wasn't pointy or whatever, or even because Medusa had, I, I believe she had a rattle, like a rattlesnake on the end of her tail. And this one had, because it was more like a, a mermaid type skin, even though the description did say for like Medusa, all, like a Medusa also, but it was more like a mermaid. So it was more like a, a fish bottom rather than a, um, a snake. So I kind of didn't like that too much. So why can't I view this bow? That's odd. Huh. Oh, there. Nope, that was to sit. Oh, maybe it's not one you can pick up. Usually you can pick up that bow. That's They have a different bow up there. But I also um, put on for the tattoos. I don't remember what tattoo pack it came from. But where you can put scales so like her whole body is covered in scales they're, they're just tattoos but it makes her look scaly so I can't really do that because I don't have the never nude body but I could take off let's see I could take off gauntlets and the legs that would I just can't go completely because I don't have the never nude body installed which I just took that stuff off anyway, so I'm not going to go to the front. But you can see, I must have picked the wrong one there. Yeah, I picked armor, not the boots. But, um... So I gave her a whole, like, reptilian look to her. But that's just some of the mods. I'd have to look in that. I might look that up and put it in the description what, um... Tattoos that came from. I think it was KJ's... Tattoos is what it was called, if I if I remember correctly. I don't know. But um, let's go turn in this bounty here that we got for the giant and then go ahead and cut this episode off. <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll work on editing it all together and then getting, a, getting it up and probably doing like maybe two or three more of these episodes. It's just doing some of the message board stuff. I got to, I, th I think I got to look into tweaking OBS some more because I'm taking a pretty hard frame rate um, hit there, especially when there's multiple dragons attacking. Um, I don't like that, that it got, I, I think it actually got down into the 30s there, but. 
so I want to go ahead and just go turn this in. I want to look into some more things on the OBS thing. Why is it not letting me summon my horse? There we go. Um, get that all fine-tuned. Do a couple more of these episodes. And then once I get it all figured out correctly, if any of you have any suggestions on, on settings that I should have in the OBS, I, I'm... I uh, believe me, I'm all ears on that. I've been pulling my hair out trying to find tutorials. Of course, all these tutorials, they all say different things. So they're all contradicting each other. And it's like, you know, it is a headache. But, oh, I put it on the controller here. I got to go to, I already killed him. So where do I turn it in? Oh, maybe because I turned it, oh. From prevent okay that dude I was gonna say maybe because I turned it to stone it didn't classify it as, as as killing it but it just picked up right there um but yeah I want to do just like maybe two or three more of these just little episodes of doing these bounties see if I can fine-tune OBS and my system settings and everything else um better and then I want to start getting into doing like some more quest line things if there's anything that you guys want to see like a certain quest line with this character or maybe um, a certain mod that and that adds a quest line that you guys want to see me do that maybe blind playthrough that I you know I haven't done it before so just let me know I'll be more than happy to look into it and check it out I know there's one that I want to do called um, the Forgotten City that's supposed to be a really good mod that adds a really nice quest line there but I want to do that follower one and the um the player house one that actually has quest lines <clears throat> after i do these next couple episodes of this but for now we're just gonna go turn this in maybe we'll go turn nazim into stone <laughs> he's always fun to mess with the the thing with this spell is though it it, it is it makes him stone permanent now the the enemy will despawn i've noticed that like I went over here to um what is this place it is this it's right over here by this giant camp um silent moon's camp I went over there and I when I was just playing with the mod for the first time and I turned like all the enemies all the bandits that were there into stone and it looked pretty cool it had like this medusa look to it cuz like if you remember like her lair had all these you know frozen statue warrior people that she turned into stone so that whole area was just like littered with all these people then you know you'd get some of them like right in the action of swinging their swords so they'd be like frozen like that so it really looked like the movie and stuff but i did notice that after i left and would come back later all those enemies would they, they were all gone so like maybe in certain areas you could freeze people and they would stay but it seems like yeah they never come back to life of course but the actual statues do go away which is kind of unfortunate because you can go through here and like um turn nazim into stone <laughs> that would be really fun but i f i finally got white run back to normal man i when i first started learning how to do this modding and stuff i put like all these white run overhauls to like and white run looked really cool but <laughs> i put all these different mods and stuff on there and it started getting so bad that i couldn't even play the game anymore it's just constantly crashing and infinite load screens and just you know and then of course i'd go and uninstall that mod and it wouldn't you know still wouldn't work even a new game wouldn't work and it was bad so i just i ended up just wiping the whole hard drive that i have gaming stuff on it's, it's a separate hard drive i just ended up wiping that whole thing reinstalling the game started putting mods in because i was like oh this is so cool you know modding and stuff i just piled on a whole bunch of mods and it was i was did not know anything that i was doing i still don't know what i'm doing very much but you know i've learned a little bit from my mistakes and, but at least now i can come to white run it, it got so bad i couldn't even come to white run another wanderer here to lick my father's boots no not really i, I don't lick anybody's boots is, as you can imagine excellent you've done us a great service here is your reward Thank you. I didn't really need the money, but hey, I'll take it. 
Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode off here. Get this uploaded, make sure everything's working correctly. I plan on doing, hopefully, on my upload schedule every Tuesday and Friday probably. I'm going to try to do twice a week uploads and see if I can keep up with the, the workload there on, on doing that. And um, just keep going. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next episode. All right, later. Well guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button and also consider hitting that subscribe button. Again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in future episodes.